So welcome back YouTube, I'm super excited to announce that I've got the brand new TaylorMade SIM2 driver. So if you want to find out the features and benefits of this driver, alongside whether you should be purchasing this product or not, then make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. So before I get started guys, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel for your chance of winning this brand new TaylorMade SIM2 driver. As soon as I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a free giveaway. All you've got to do is comment and make sure you subscribe and I'm going to pick one lucky winner. So the brand new TaylorMade SIM2 driver. I mean, this driver looks amazing. However, what I wanted to do to start off with was actually talk through the features and benefits that this driver has to offer, alongside putting it to the test on the GC Quad to see how well it really performs. So let's have a little look at the retail price first. So the recommended retail price of this driver is gonna be 449 pounds. However, I think for me personally, it's gonna probably come into store around the 399 pound mark. So let's talk through the features and benefits that this club has to offer. So the first thing that we actually wanna look at is the soul of the driver. What you'll notice is that it's completely made out of carbon. And the reason that they've done this is to actually increase the distance that you can hit the ball as it will allow you to generate a lot more club head speed. So what we're gonna look at now is the actual club face of the driver. What we'll notice is that it's still speed injected, it still has that twist face technology. However, this year it's slightly bigger in size and that's really designed to help those off-centered hits. So the next thing to take note of is the fact that this driver has no adjustability in terms of the draw or fade bias. So is that a feature and benefit or does that mean the driver's got slightly worse? Well, TaylorMade actually say that the draw or fade bias actually slows the club head speed down so they've removed that completely and they said that you can actually close or open the face based around the adjustable hosel that they have at the bottom. So if you wanted to adjust your drive from a nine degree to 11 degree and put it in that higher setting, that would actually close the face by three and a half degrees. So if you really are struggling that big slice out to the right hand side and you're worried about the adjustability element, they do actually sell a TaylorMade SIM2 Max D driver, which is actually a draw bias driver. They also sell the TaylorMade SIM2 Max driver, which is slightly more high spinning. And what you'll actually notice is that Dustin Johnson is actually playing with the TaylorMade SIM2 Max driver on tour because it is a lot higher spinning and he's playing with a super low spinning shaft. So it shows how important it is to match the shaft and the club head because this TaylorMade SIM2 driver is renowned for its low spin. Right, so now you guys back at home understand the features and benefits of the product and how much it's actually gonna cost you. Let's put it to the test and really see if it's as good as what they say it is. How well is it gonna perform in terms of distance and is it really gonna help me if I have off-centered hits and make me more consistent as a player? Let's find out. Right, so the moment I've been looking forward to TaylorMade SIM2 driver and giving it a go. I've got it set in a nine degree head. I haven't messed around with increasing the loft or decreasing it, because like I mentioned earlier, I don't want to adjust the club face in any shape or form. What I've done as well is I'm going to use a brand new TaylorMade TP5 golf ball just to make sure that the testing is spot on. You might be thinking, I can't see the screen, I don't know where your ball's going to go. Well, what I'll do is I'll load the video uh, after each shot so you can see where it's gone. So what I'm going to do now is just hit a few shots with it and just see how well it really performs. In terms of addressing the golf ball, what I notice is the fact that it looks very similar to the SIM one. So I had the SIM driver last year. I can't notice too much of a difference between the actual setup. It looks slightly bigger, obviously the head is a fraction bigger for obviously those off-centered hits, but at the same time, setup looks very similar. I mean, let's give it a go to see how well it performs in terms of consistency, because one thing I did notice about the TaylorMade SIM last year was that if you didn't quite catch it smack bang out the center, you didn't quite get the ball flight that you wanted. So let's give it a go, and just hit 10 shots and see how well it really performs. So I mean, struck that one pretty well. Slight pull, got a good distance though considering. 269 yard carry and a total of 289 yards. So not a bad first shot considering it was the warm up, but let's get going and see if it can even push even further. So 
Again, let's have a look. Again, what I'm thinking about here as well, I do want to hit it straight. It's not all about the distance element. Let's give it another go. So, I mean, I struck that very, very well. Slight fade to it, 272 yards in terms of the carry. How far has it travelled in terms of total? 296. I mean, that's very, very long for me. Um, usually, I'm about a 285. So, happy with that. Right, shot number three. I mean, in terms of the shot, struck it really well, nice on the face. It felt really, really good. Another one, shot number three. Again, nicely struck shot. Carried 272 yards that time. So again, nice and consistent. 295 total distance. Feels easy to hit, it feels quite nice actually. Not a lot of spin on it, which is good. 2,200, so good amount of spin on there. Staying nice and high in the air. Launch is 13 degree, which again, very good. So again, shot number four now. Tell you what, I do like this driver. He's very low spinning though. Again, carry 281, got a total of 309, 309 yards. I mean, that's long for me, very, very long. Uh, whether I'm just catching them on fire today, I'm not too sure, but for me, that is a long distance, and they've all been nice and straight, which is a good positive as well. Right. Shot number five. Hopefully, I'll catch one off centered soon, and I'll tell you what it feels like, or whether it helps me hit it straight still. Well, I hit these pretty well so far. Again, I've struck that one so well. Slightly higher off the top of the face, but there's hardly any spin on it. It's just traveling so long. That's gone 303. I mean, these are all consistently above 300 yards, which is mad. I mean, that's a long, long way. Backspin 1,100. So you've got to be careful with that. Obviously, I don't want my backspin getting too low because sometimes it might not just get airborne and it might not travel the distance I want it to. 1,200 is, is quite low for a driver. Right, so shot number six now coming up. I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely piping these. Keep going, 274 carry. 296 total distance. I mean, every single one's been nice and straight as well. Might have to put this one in my bag. It feels brilliant. Right, shot number seven now. Let's just do ten. That one I didn't catch very well. So, I mean, it came very much out of the heel. Distance has dropped dramatically. So, I've only got a total distance there of 224. Um, wasn't a very good struck shot at all there. Lots of backspin. I think I've got like 6,000 backspin on there, which is crazy. Um, so... Didn't feel that great, that one. Uh, obviously, didn't strike it very well, and the distance has massively dropped. So, offset and hit to drop that much is quite significant. But let's see if we can have a few more, see if I get any more off centered. Again, that one wasn't the cleanest strike again, slightly off the bottom. It's got a little left, 260 carry, total of 286. So that was more like it. Whether I got a freak off off shot on the one before. So I'll play 11 in total instead of 10, because I think the one before, I don't think it's picked it up that well. It might have just been a little off shot. But right, let's have a few more. Again, struck it really nicely. Nice straight shot, 262 carry. Nice and straight, go on then, get on the line. Oh, 285 in terms of total distance. Very nice shot. And again, let's just have two more shots now. I mean, it does feel really nice off the club face. I mean, I can't complain with the feel of it. Sounds slightly different to the sim driver in terms of a little bit more of a, a thuddy sound. And also, it's nice and consistent, which is a great thing for it. So again, couple more. Tell you what. I've got it on a string, nice and easy. Look at that, dead straight again. 
Tell you what, I like these, 285. Right, let's go one more. This time I'm gonna put it really to the test. I'm gonna go hard on this next one. See if I can get one up past the 300 mark. Go a little quicker on it. So right, slightly wider stance. Let's give this one a go. Okay, got hard on it. Not the greatest of strikes, but it's carried 270. Um, so again, nice and high, a lot higher that time with a total distance traveling 288. So I mean, overall, I am more than impressed with this driver. So bringing up all of the stats and taking away that one error that the GC quad performed, it wasn't me, it must have been the GC quad, uh, what we'll notice is that my carry distance was a total of 269 yards. I mean, that's a long way for me with a total distance of 295. I mean, that is long. I would definitely recommend this driver to every single person watching and give it a go. Go get yourself tested for it because, I mean, it has performed so well. I'm super excited to take it onto the course. I would give it a good solid nine out of 10. Uh, the only way I'm gonna give it a good 10 out of 10 is if I can get every single drive up past that 300 yard mark. I mean, that would be uh, outrageous. But at the same time, super happy with it. Make sure guys, if you haven't already done so, to comment on the video, because remember, it is free to enter and I wanna give one of these away. I will be giving it away regardless, so just make sure you're in with a chance. But thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I will see you again for the next video, Friday night at seven o'clock. <laughs>